bet. See you later. Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gamer D on Cars, and on today's video, we're gonna take my Bronco for a drive because I've never done a drive video with this. This is my 2022 Ford Bronco. I've had this for almost six months. It is my daily driver. It is finally a beautiful day here in Mechanicsburg, PA. So let's take the Bronco for a drive. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna use a couple more angles just to get a little better quality video. So got the GoPro already. So let's just start her up. All right, here we go. All right, so I hope everybody is getting ready for Christmas. Hope you have all your presents done. Hope you get to see your family. My sister and her family are coming over uh, tomorrow. So we're gonna go for a drive in my Ford Bronco. Now this is uh, my daily driver. Um, this has a 2.3 liter turbo four cylinder. We got 270 horsepower, 310 foot pounds of torque and I didn't go for the bigger V6 engine. I've heard they had the engine or problems with that engine. I didn't go for the Sasquatch package mainly because I work in construction and there is a possibility that I could drive far for work. So I didn't want to, you know, get into that. Plus, that would have been another about seven thousand dollars that I wasn't uh, prepared to spend. So. I love this car, I've done many videos on it, explaining what I love and what I hate, but what I love the most about it is the driving experience and the comfort. This car is so unbelievably comfortable. And I don't know it is if it is because of the cloth seats that I got, I did not get the leather, but it is just so comfortable. Uh, you can go on many road trips without fault. I went to Pittsburgh in this thing and it was supremely comfortable. There you can just see the roast, it's called the roast cloth. So as a daily driver, uh, it is very nice. Now, one thing that came out about the Bronco when it was released is that the Bronco's uh, main competition, the Jeep Wrangler, uh, the Bronco has independent front suspension. They say that is better for on-road driving. We all know that this is an off-road vehicle, and I haven't done any off-roading yet just because I, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't ever, and that's okay. Maybe I will. I have to. I mean, I'd like to do that. Still never took the complete tops off, and then I still never went off-roading in this thing, but... So let's try out some driving on my favorite section of road here and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, now this is my favorite stretch of road and now that I have the two cameras, I'm gonna keep the camera on me just for a little bit. Maybe we can get back onto the highway. I'm gonna show you a little POV view just to get a look at what it looks like to drive this. But now, a couple things. Is this a canyon carving, you know, sports car? No, this is a big uh, brick shaped SUV. Uh, so it's not going to have any type of handling. I mean, this thing is 5,000 pounds, but it is fun to drive and you do feel like you're driving something that is fun to drive. I mean, I've driven lots of cool cars. Um, this for me is just about the perfect daily driver that takes into account my family. I put my daughter and my wife in this car with all of our things, no problem. Um, I work in construction, so there are chances that I can get on some hairy, uh, construction sites but this road is just the perfect road to explore what it is like to drive something now this car has uh, a bunch of drive modes which I normally keep it in normal there is an eco and a sport mode which I hate both of them I'm gonna be honest the eco mode it's like it it completely numbs everything and it's almost like you have to step on the gas more because it's trying to like hold back the engine. I feel like it just it's just terrible. The gas mileage might be a little bit better on the highway. Uh, normal mode is what I am in 92% of the time. Uh, sport mode is what you think it is. It holds onto the gear. And being that the gas mileage is not the greatest for this thing, it just destroys your gas mileage and that's not something I want to do. But this road, uh, it's, just, it's just the best. Um, and also, can you tell that I've been watching a lot of uh, smoking tire? This is sort of the setup that they do. They have a camera pointing out and then they have it on their face. But this road is just fantastic. Now we're gonna go up to Lisburn up here. Let's see, look. Also the sound, it's a four cylinder. Does it sound great? No. Does it sound like the most puny, awful 1.3 liter Ford Fiesta engine? No, it just sounds like a four cylinder engine. Uh, I will say there is, very minimal turbo lag. This is a single turbo uh, car. So we're gonna give her the beans right here and something that I don't I don't do very often because it is my car and I'm in the <laughs> and it, the process of preserving the car. So here we go. Boom. <laughs> there's there's 60 miles an hour. I don't know. Is it a fast car? No. Is it a slow car? No. Uh, is it something that's a perfect daily driver for me? 
Yes. And this Subaru is gonna totally get in my way up here, which is okay. So what this car has going for it is it's comfortable. I think the design of it is fantastic. The driving experience is more than adequate. I mean, I'm not gonna say this is a people mover because Ford is selling these like hotcakes and this has been a great car for Ford, you know, in this uh, last year or two. There's been hundreds of thousands of them sold. So I think it's already been a big hit for Ford. They just had the Raptor come out, which I did a video with, and that is also a big hit. That's one of the most badass SUVs to ever come out of a factory line. So yeah, this is my daily driver. I love this car. I plan on keeping it for a long, long time. Uh, the next car that I buy, I'm not gonna reserve. I'm gonna go to a lot. I'm gonna buy it within a couple days because I am not gonna be waiting for two years uh, on the next one. I was thinking about it the other day. I didn't really wait two years. I waited about uh, just about a year. I mean, they came out in July of 21 and I got mine in June of 22. So from the day I put my reservation in, it was just under two years. It was about, to the day, 22 months. Um, but this is my Bronco. I love it very much. And it's gonna stay in my garage uh, for a long time. Okay, I stopped real quick just to get, I totally forgot to hit the record button when I just was filming. So this is what it looks like to do POV. Now, I love the 12 inch screen. That was one of the must haves for me. You got your audio, our CarPlay, navigation, which doesn't work. I actually have to connect to my Google Maps through my CarPlay. Now the gauge is right there. When you go into different drive modes, you can switch right there. So that goes into eco mode. Now I'm gonna drive a little bit on eco mode. And I, I will say, I'm gonna turn around right here. I absolutely hate the eco mode. It really just obviously is aimed to saving gas, but it, I just feel like it does a terrible, a terrible job on it. It really like holds back the engine. I mean, in the nature, in the essence of saving fuel, but I just, I don't like it at all. Normal mode feels way more uh, compliant. It just works better for me. So I, I rarely, rarely ever have it in eco mode. Uh, for that reason. So let's try out sport mode, which I even rarer or less, it turns off the auto start stop. Now, this is gonna hold on to the gear like crazy. There's a nice little Mini Cooper right there. This just holds on to the gear so nicely. Uh, I mean, I, I do say nicely, but almost, almost too much. I mean, this would destroy your gas mileage, but it gives you a little bit more sporty as it's as it's as it's called sporty drive but i mean being that the gas mileage in this is not the greatest as you can see right there i'm averaging 19.9 on this tank of fuel it is not the greatest but you know that when you bought this car uh, i certainly do that is really the only downside to this vehicle in my opinion is the gas mileage so we're going to go back into normal mode back into what i am used to driving all the time All right, so we're gonna get on the highway up here. We're gonna say goodbye to this little Mini Cooper, maybe. But yeah, overall, I very much enjoy driving this car. Uh, it works for me. I don't regret my purchase at all. It was worth the wait. Uh, I love this thing. It's comfortable. It looks great. Uh, I really think this is like a classic design that will age well. I mean, it's a big, it's a big brick with a couple circles on the headlights. Oh, we gotta get by this Jeep just to get on the highway. So let's see what it is like on the highway. First, we're gonna give it the beans a little bit. <laughs> Does it sound great? No, but it's not slow, but it's not fast either. Okay, now you can get an idea of what this thing sounds like on the highway, and I do have the hard top. I don't have the soft top, obviously, if you are a follower of this channel. It's not the quietest. I mean, coming from my Audi, it is super loud, but it is really not that bad. And I think this is an actually a pretty windy day here in December in Mechanicsburg, PA. Uh, but it is not that bad. Now, I do have the lane keep assist. I don't have the radar cruise control. I just have normal cruise control. But yeah, this is it. This is the Bronco. I, I don't know how much the sound is coming across over the video. I, mean, I do have a pretty decent microphone. But it is, it is not that bad, and obviously I'm used to it. Uh, if somebody was interested in buying a Bronco, I would say absolutely 100% drive one on the highway just to see how it feels. I mean, I'm definitely used to it, but I still don't think it is that bad.
All right, just got back to home base. We're done with my drive of my personal 2022 Ford Bronco. I love this vehicle. It's comfortable. It looks great. Uh, it works perfectly for my family and my career. I think this might be the last video I do uh, for the year. I don't think I have any car views lined up. I don't think. I might have something really cool coming, but I don't, I'm not sure yet. It's still in the works. So I'm going to do a best of 2022 video. Uh, I didn't drive as many cars this year because I started coaching track, which was fantastic in its own right. I love that every second of that. So I'm going to do a top 10 cars that I drove this year. So if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Gimme D on Cars. Hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I will see you next year. Have a good one. Bye.